Shalom. 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 To start with this lesson, first and foremost, we want to give all praise on and glory to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Krakadash. Double honor to our elders and foster a great millstone will rule well and push out the 100% truth. And shalom to the hopeful elects that are across the four winds. They're willing this lesson is edifying. And today we're going to be going into confessing your sins to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and not being afraid to confess your sins. Uh, this is the book of 1 John, chapter 1, verse 8. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our, forgive us our sins and to, to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his words are not in us. Basically, going basically, it says it's plain, man. If if we say we're not sin, that means 100 percent truth is not in us, man. We're not we're not meant to be walking around with Yahweh Shai. If we could able to open to, if we fully able to open up and confess our sins, that's true. That we're humble and Yahweh Shai is walking with us and He's with us. Yep, yep. I'll read again. This is First John chapter one verse eight. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. That's that's them so-called Christians. That's their attitude. They say, what? Well, I'm saved. What are you saved from? And they say the laws and the commandments is done away with. So clearly they're in the mindset of, I don't do nothing wrong, right? You know? Read. We deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Right. Those. If you operate like that by default, you don't have the truth. And it's clear to see, you know, those so-called Christians or people that have that mindset, you know, they don't they don't have the truth. Mm -hmm. It's not in them. Okay? We need a physician. Mm -hmm. Those that are whole don't need no physician. Read. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins to cleanse us. From all unrighteousness. All right, we have to confess our sins to who? Yahweh through Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son. Okay? That's why Yahweh Shai died on the cross. For what? For who? For the nation of Israel, start with the elect, to take away their sins away, man. Because we sin. Somebody get the wages of sin is death. Somebody get for all have sin. But we all sin, man. That's why it's, it's good to confess our wrongdoings to Yahweh Shemashah. At the end of the day, we can't hide from him. He sees everything. This is Romans chapter 3, verse 23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. For we'll all have sinned. Okay, one thing we all have in common, whether you other circumcision or uncircumcision, whether you're in the world or in the truth, we all sin. All of us. That's it on that? Yes. Okay. Uh, Romans 6 and 23 says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the Most High is eternal life through Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our Lord. Mm -hmm. The wages of sin is death. Sin separate, separates us from the Father. That's why we have an advocate with the Father. Matter of fact, somebody get that. We have an advocate with the Father. That middle man can be reconciled back to Yahweh. Well, who was that? Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's important to confess our wrongdoings to the Lord, man. You got it. This is 1 John chapter 2. Start out at verse 1. My little children, these things write I unto you, that ye sin not. If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Yahweh Shai, with the Father, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, the righteous. And he, and he is a propitiation for our sin. And not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. You got it. You know, and that you know that advocate basically, you know, it's 
Then he's talking about how Yahweh is the Lord for us. Man, he pleads our cause, you know, because, you know, he's still in the flesh, man. And that world, is, it says, and he's, he is a propitiation. It's like it. He is a pro, he is appropriation for our sins and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. So he was that appeasing sacrifice for the starting of the nation, you know, for the, um, like it. Uh, he was the appeasing sacrifice for the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, right? Mm -hmm. Which that world is going to is the, um, the nation of Israel. You're not, mm -hmm. not talking about everybody. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. We're advocating the guru says. A person who publicly supports or recommends a particular cause or policy. Okay, it says, um, a person who pleads on someone else's behalf. Mm -hmm. A pleader in a court of law, a lawyer. You see, that middleman being Yahusha, mm -hmm. that word advocate, you know, in the in the origin of that word, it says add to vocare to call. Call to one's aid. Yeah, that intercessor being Yahusha. Yahusha is rooting for his uh his, his, his men, the elect. He's rooting for the, the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. He's praying for them to the Father. He he wants his elect to win. And they they gonna win. But like Lord wasn't well that number. Okay. Um who got some Back at First John chapter one, I'm gonna start at verse nine again. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Verse ten. If we say that we have not sinned, we make Him a liar, and His word is not in us. That's plain. <laughs> you know, you got people walking around acting like they don't sin. <laughs> you know, we in the flesh, we at the bottom. In captivity, so of course we sin. We these fleshly bodies that, that is subject to sin. Mm -hmm. so you got it. Uh, this is um John chapter seventeen verse nine. It says, "I pray for them. I pray not for the world." This is John chapter seventeen verse nine. It says, "I pray. I pray for them. I pray not for the world." But for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. Mm -hmm. And it says, verse 10, And all our mine are thine, and, they, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. You know, and who was supposed to give this um, to your house? Like, he like, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's praying for the elect. He's praying out for the, the wicked Israelites. Okay, he's praying for the elect. And Hawashai is our intercessor. He's so important, man. That's why we worship Yahweh Shah. We worship Yahweh Baha Sham Yahweh Shah. Psalm, Psalm 32. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 32, verse 1. The Psalm of David. My shit chill. Bless is whose transgression is forgiven. Read again. Bless is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Bless is. Right, break it down. It's plain as well. It says, "Blesses, blesses he whose transgression is forgiven." Basically, saying the Most High is blessing you. He's telling you, He's forgiving you. All you have to do is come back and repent. Blesses he, the elect. That's the elect. You know, Lord willing, we be of that number, man. And we know we're sinners. We know that. Blesses he whose transgression is forgiven. That's the elect. They're innocent in the eyes of the Lord. Even though they sin. Mm -hmm. oh, right, cool. mm -hmm. This is um first John chapter three verse four. It says, Whosoever committed sin and transgression also is law. For sin is a transgression of the law. You know, part of acknowledging your sins and understand, you know, that when you sin sinning means that you you know you went against the law. You know, understand that we in this flesh, of course we're gonna, you know, and um, ultimately too we're in captivity too, man. Mm -hmm. 
you know, so these two things, you know, play in the part why we sin. You know, the part of uh, repenting and confessing your sin is that, you know, understand that you went against the law. Verse 2. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputed not iniquity, mm -hmm. and in whose, in whose spirit there is no doubt. Right, right. You know, they're they, they going to be preaching the truth. Mm -hmm. They're not going to be telling you lies like T.D. Jakes or Creflo Dollar or these false prophets. They're going to they gonna tell you the truth, man. They following the lamb whithersoever he goeth. Okay? And bringing out the right doctrine, the correct doctrine. They, they're sincere. The true worshipers, the true believers in Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Revelation chapter 14, since we, you know, speaking about the elect, you know, it's, I'm going to start at verse 4. It says, These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. You know, and that woman talking about different doctrines, man. All right, these different philosophies. Worldly philosophies, man, with different doctrines, wicked philosophies, man. That 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 only leads to death. You got it, bro. And it says, These are they which follow the Lamb, which talking about Yahweh, wheresoever he goeth, mm -hmm. these were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the most high and unto the Lamb, which is talking about Yahweh. And this is going to the elect, man. You know, the elect follow Yahweh you know, through the spirit through the spirit, man. You know, they try to, you know, please the most high to the best of their ability. Mm -hmm. You know, we re rehearse the righteous acts. You know, go on one accord with the doctrine. You know, and it says, verse 5, And in their mouth was found no God, and for they are without fault before the, the throne of the most high. You know, going back to that on Psalm chapter 32. That's right, brother, that's right. Um... I got um Psalms 34 verse 13. It says, uh start at verse 12. What man is he that desireth life and loveth many days that he may see good? The point is that verse 13. Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Depart from evil, depart from wickedness. By keeping the laws and the commandments to the best of your ability, man. No, we're not going to keep it all in this wicked society. But what's our intent? Are we trying to? Mm -hmm. Okay, you say you love the Lord. Well, guess what? Do what you say to do, man. We have to, we have to be in that mindset. You see a, 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 a woman, she may have a man. Don't pursue her. Leave her alone. Because you don't want to commit adultery. That takes integrity. You see? Uh, to bring out, to bring out an example, in Sirach 44 and uh, 17, sorry, 16, it says, Sirach 44 and 16, he not pleased the Lord, and was translated being an example of repentance to all generations. No one was found perfect and righteous. In the time of wrath, he was taken in exchange to the world. Therefore, was he left as a remnant unto the earth when the flood came. I right, said so the point was Noah was found perfect and righteous. You know, Noah was found perfect because he, he, he had integrity. Okay, he was showing that he wanted to do good. Okay, he showed that he, he, he was coming in a spirit of repentance. Okay, that's being found perfect. Found, being found without God in the eyes of Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. So you have to show that you want to do so. You have to show that you want to please the Lord. It says that Enoch said, Enoch, please the Lord. Okay. Uh, you know, um, I got my, my, bring this out real quick. The word repent in the, in the entomology, it goes into to make sorry. Feel sorry, man. To feel, you know, penitent. Be grieved over one's past and seek forgiveness. Feel such regret for sins, crimes, or omissions as produces amendment of life. Okay, we got sin in our past life. We sin in this life. So, somebody can bring out that scripture, or wretched man. 
we, we, we need your house shot. Mm -hmm. Okay. To, to feel sorry, that that's going to repenting, man. You got that scripture, repent. You say you want to bring up? Sure. You got it. This is Acts chapter 3, verse 19. It says, repent ye therefore and be converted, and that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. You got it. And, you know, repent is, is an action word, man. Mm -hmm. You know, turn it back to the Yahweh Shem side. So, you know, and when that time Yahweh Shem like come, you know, no one will try to elect, you know, we can be accepted, man. Romans 7 and start at 24, it says, O wretch, O wretch man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? I thank the most high through Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our Lord. So then, with the mind, I myself serve the Lord of the most high, with, with the flesh, the law of sin. But Paul acknowledged he, he, he was wretched. And that's Apostle Paul. He had the most works. He had more works than Peter, John. Okay. He said, oh, wretched man. So we're wretched. We ain't, we ain't perfect in the sense of we don't go off. No, we go off. But guess what? When we go off, we ask for forgiveness. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 24, verse 16. For a just man falleth seven times and rises up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. You know, sometimes in the truth, you're going to have your shortcomings, you know. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you know, you got to get back up, man. You got to keep fighting. You got to call on the name of the Lord. You got to continue to give praise. Mm -hmm. And seven represents completion. Come on. Okay, so we're going we gonna to fall a lot of times. But part of having integrity is getting up. You got to get back up. That's right. When, when David slept with that woman, committed adultery and whatnot, hey, he ain't stayed down for too long, he got back up. Mm -hmm. You know, this is uh, Mark chapter 1, verse 15. And the saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. So we have to repent. This is Mark 2, verse 17. When Yahweh I heard it, he said unto them, They that are whole have no need of the physician, but they that are sick, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Right? So that's just what it is, man. Yahweh Shah is our physician. We need help. Yahweh Bashim Shah looking at us like, you gonna call upon me? You gonna ask for help? Or you just think you got it already? Because you know a couple precepts, you know some breakdowns. It's, it's, it's more than that. It's about being contrite. You know, that's scripture. Uh, that you up with Jeremiah it's Jeremiah 3 start at 12 mm -hmm. it says go and proclaim these words toward the north and say return thou back to Israel said the Lord Yahweh and I will not cause my anger to fall upon you for I am merciful said the Lord Yahweh and I will not keep his anger forever only acknowledge that iniquity mm -hmm. that thou hast transgressed against the Lord Yahweh thy power and hast scattered thy way to the strangers under every green tree and ye have not obeyed my voice, said the Lord Yahweh. It says, Turn, O black side children, said the Lord Yahweh, for I am married unto you. And I will take you one of a city and two of a family and bring you to, to, to bring you to Zion. And so you have to you have to turn back to the Lord, acknowledge your iniquities, you know, to know, knowing that you fucked up, you know, and repenting. Okay? So the scripture said it said that the Lord is merciful, he's gonna forgive you. But you have to you have to come in and swear to uh, Coming in that humble and contrary spirit, saying, Lord, Lord, I, I fucked up, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Alright, this was going to back you up earlier. Um, I had Romans 12. I wanted to bring it up. Mm -hmm. This is Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercenaries of the Most High, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, a holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is a reason, a, which is a reasonable service. Verse 2, and be not conformed to this world, but ye be transformed by renewing your mind, that ye may prove mm -hmm. that what is that is that ye may prove what that good, account, uh, acceptable, and perfect will of the most high. Verse 3, for I say, 
though the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than all to think, but to think soberly according to, as the Most High has dealt to every man measure of faith. Mm -hmm. So we shouldn't be high-minded. We shouldn't be operating in foolish pride. We, we should be thinking soberly, you know, walking humble before our Creator. All right, so Isaiah 57, verse um, 15, For thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity, whose name is holy, I dwell in the high and holy place. With them also that is of a contrite and humble spirit to revive the humble, to revive the spirit of the humble, and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. That's what we're dealing with, okay? Contrite ones. Pride leads to destruction. Mm -hmm. Scripture right. say, okay. Um, so he's going to dwell with those that's contrite. Contrite goes to being feeling broken, man. You know, hey, that that publican, mm -hmm. that public and the Pharisee. Somebody get Luke uh, eighteen. Prophet Shah. Start at verse ten. This is the book of Luke, chapter 18, verse 10. Two men went up into the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee and the other a, pub, a publican. It was a publican, a tax collector. A lot of the publicans, they have a little stigma about them. You know, a lot of people didn't like the publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus himself, God, I thank thee that I am not as the other men are, Ex extortioners, unjust adulterers, or even public, or even as a publican, even as it says, or even as this publican. I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. And the publican standing afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes into heaven, but smote upon his 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 breast, saying, "God, be merciful to me, a sinner." See. And the public is standing afar off, would not lift up so much as his eyes to heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, sinner. Have mercy upon me. I messed up. See? I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other, for everyone that exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. That's plain. You try to... So all your stuff to have your father gonna base you mean to bring you low, can't draw low. You know, the scripture was saying in due time he'll exalt you. Somebody get that in the testament. In due time he'll exalt you. This is first Peter chapter five, verse six. It says You start at verse 5. No, shot. This is 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 5. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. Cloth. Be clothed with humility. So don't you? For the most high is thy power res resisted the proud, and give it grace to the humble. Right. humble. That word grace goes into favor too. Yeah. You give favor to the humble. Read. Humble yourself therefore there, therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High, that he may exalt you in due time. Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God, and he may exalt you in due time. So we got a scripture? Um, um Psalm 51. If, um, before that, can you can you get um can you get uh the natural sin weigh you down? Alright, yeah. I was gonna sing sixteen and start at seventy five. It says, Be be not afraid and of doubt, for the most high is your God, and the God of them who keep my commandment and precepts. Set the Lord power, let not your sins weigh you down, and then and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. 
Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins, and covered with their iniquities. Like as a field is covered, covered over with bushes, and a path thereof covered with thorns, that no man may travel through. You're not supposed to look so sinful you down, man. So okay, you're supposed to come to the Lord, Lord, I'm sorry, I know I fucked up. You can't be in that next spirit like, damn, bro. you know, I messed up. You know, Lord never will forgive me. You know, you're supposed to, hey, should say, just man fall it seven times. You got to pick yourself back up. Well, not pick yourself back up, but pray to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Okay? Hey, the scriptures say that he know our frame. You know, we just dust. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, we can get that real quick. That's Psalms 103, I believe. It's a merciful power now. We have to talk to Yahweh about Shemi Abishai. This is Psalm 103, verse 1. A psalm of David, bless Yahweh, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless Yahweh, O my soul. And forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities? Who healeth all thy diseases? Who redeemeth thy life from destruction? Who crowneth thee with love and kindness and tender mercies? Okay? Jump down to verse 8. Yahweh is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as the Father pitieth his children, so the Lord Yahweh pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. 